Crimson Peak, an artistic, beautiful gem of a film from Guillermo del Toro, just now being released in 4K from Arrow Video. What's cracking, everybody? Ken here, Ungraduated Media. Thank you for being here with me, yours truly. This is the channel that's all about the perspective that we gain from that of physical media, rethinking life, of course, through that of the physical media films and the collecting and the packaging. We talk about all that goodness here on this channel. So if you enjoy that kind of perspective from film, hit that subscribe button. And of course, leave your thoughts in the comments section down below engage let's have some fun in the conversation that is what it is all about here today so i got this gorgeous chunky box set in from arrow a little early actually it wasn't from arrow i always go to diabolic dvd if i can and uh, i usually get stuff early so tidbit out there if you didn't know diabolic dvd i love them they are great with me and if any chance they get to send stuff early i got this like a week ago maybe even more than a week ago and just have not yet had the time to talk about it, I have watched it. I knew that it was a Guillermo del Toro, Guillermo del Toro film. If I could spit that out, and I have some exposure to Guillermo del Toro with Kronos. I know Pinocchio. He's done quite a lot. The Devil's Backbone. This was a film that I have not yet seen. I'm trying to get into more of his work, into more of his filmography. But what I didn't know is that Arrow has this gorgeous, chunky box set. I'm going to go ahead and give you all a quick view of this thing. It does come with a J card. Beautiful artwork here. And I didn't know this release was going to have this like book type of a box set. So let's go ahead and show you the J card real quick so you can kind of get the overview. Basic J card here. Here is what you're looking at in terms of what's all in this thing loaded with all kinds of extras and great contents. We'll talk about it. We'll go through, of course, the full review. We'll talk about the video quality, the audio quality, both of which are immaculate. Spoiler alert. But let's go ahead and just jump into a little bit about the film before we do the unboxing and then the video quality, the audio quality, and then the overall takeaways from this film. Crimson Peak comes to us from 2015. It's Guillermo del Toro's really Italian horror, more of a art house masterpiece. I mean, beautiful, beautiful cinematography. I would not call this a horror film by any stretch of the imagination. It's definitely got a horror vibe to it, but it's more of an artistic masterpiece. Although I do think that it's set piece based in the Gothic era would be a cool, very cool Halloween time frame type of a film. But more about a romantic horror, I guess, than an actual horror is what this film is mostly comprised of. You have Mia Wasikowska, I think is how I pronounce her name, who is in this. Jessica Chastain, Tom Hiddleston, Charlie Hunnam, Jim Beaver, amongst others in this film. And the entire premise here is more or less you have Edith Cushing. She is the young woman who was played by Mia Wasikowska. Gorgeous in this film, beautifully shot, looks fantastic. And basically her husband, Tom Hiddleston, is not who she thinks that he is. They don't originally start off as husbands. Her father in this film knows something is up involving her husband or her potential husband, and he forces him away because he can just tell he's bad news. He basically bribes him with some money, asks him to leave and break young Edith's heart. From that point on, he comes back, more or less tells her what her father was doing, and he still has love for her. Yet in this film, his sister, who is played by Jessica Chastain, she is basically trying to undermine Edith throughout the film. There's this interesting twist going on where the two of them, the brother and sister, are conspiring, trying to get an investment from Edith's father, a lump sum of money to help him with his clay digging machine. Talking, of course, about the character played by Tom Hiddleston. So in this film, there is this overlay of twists and turns and basically this suspenseful mystery that unfolds, also wrapped in encapsulated with this gothic spirit ghost haunting type of a story. 
It really is a beautifully shot, beautifully done, artistic, romantic horror from Guillermo del Toro that surprised me. The sound was amazing. The visuals were amazing. We're going to get into both of those here in just a little bit. But first, we're going to do this unboxing, and it is quite an unboxing for sure. Getting into this limited edition chunky box set. Again, this uh, you can get without the chunky box set. And Arrow does have a 4K of this they released a few years ago. This is the 4K chunky box set limited edition that kind of comes like a book. Really cool how they did this when you open it up. It's going to probably all fall out on me here, but there we go. You got this beautiful artwork on the inside. Pull on the ribbon and... We'll get to this here in a second. This is not the actual disc. You get some lobby cards, art cards, and then beneath there is the 4K disc. No Blu-ray included with this. Again, Arrow had a separate Blu-ray release quite a few years ago, and this is the 4K transfer. So beautiful box set there. Give you some view here of the art cards that come along in this film. You got two sides to these. A beautiful view here of the artwork. And uh, if I go through all these, you're going to see the double sides. We have a poster as well, too. Flip these around now. You can kind of see how these look. If you're an art card person, all pretty cool. Then you have an advertisement in there. Arrow always likes to throw those in there. So, yeah, that's your lobby cards, art cards, double-sided. Check out your poster with the original poster art that's quite beautiful digging on that quite a bit beautifully done i do like the new commission artwork but um i kind of kind of like this old original artwork a bit better oh yeah the arrow fresh new smell how do you go wrong with that you can't and then here is uh what looks like a slip box is actually a slip box not for a disc but for a book so that's your slip case for this book here is your book. I think it's like about a 80 page or so. I'll go ahead and flip through this real quick. Give you a little. Let me tell you how many pages is actually in this. Um, they are not numbered, but I'd, I'd wager it's about 50, 60 pages. And uh, inside of it, here's your contents. What's all included? So yeah, 74 pages there. You get everything from cast and crew up to the transfer, and lots of nice still images screenshots information about the film the making of from guillermo del toro lots of the different artwork here and themed art that went into the making of this film there is some cgi special effects that i think hold up pretty well in this uh could have been a lot worse but again not that old of a film so i think it holds up and holds pretty true and looked great in 4k so yeah that is what you get inside of the box. This 4K transfer from Arrow is magnificent. It's what you come to expect from Arrow Video. This thing is gorgeous. Del Toro's artwork is really on full display here with the HDR10 and Dolby Vision. Now, I couldn't compare this to the Blu-ray. I hear that the Blu-ray looks pretty good itself, but the Dolby Vision and the HDR10 is what really splashes all over this with the color the reds look amazing you've got the entire film that starts off with this kind of orange overlay throughout it it's beautiful looking and uh, as the film goes on del toro he showcases his splashes of color oh so well the red the blood this red clay that's in the film is really what stands out so, so much in this. you got the darkness of this, this beautiful house and mansion that looks so phenomenal. Such great gothic characters and the colors inside this place. A lot of the film is darker, but the contrast with the dark, no black crushing, just really pulls the colors forward in, in a very delicate and amazing way shows you with that clarity. Again, not able to compare it to the Blu-ray, but I can tell you that the 4K transfer here was definitely a one-up, at least in my eyes. I'm sure that the Blu-ray looks good and not being able to compare it, I would take the Dolby Vision and HDR10 all day long if I can. Again, with my equipment showing you these screenshots right now, it looked fantastic. All of these are taken directly off the disc, so your results will probably vary based on your equipment, but I can assure you that this looks amazing. Del Toro, he is an artist. 
how this was all done. It was actually supervised by him and final approval was done at the picture shop in Toronto. The DI feature master data was supplied from NBC Universal. The 4K HDR grading was completed by Fidelity in Motion. Now, we'll get into the aspect ratio here a little bit. It's 185 to 1, so full screen here, no 239 to 1, no bars, just a full beautiful screen full of color. And where this thing really shines, I think, is when you get into the light, the snow, as you're coming up to this mansion on the hill, Crimson Peak, the white with the red. There are shots in this film towards the end and even some in the middle with the snowfall and the contrast, the brightness of the whites that really the HDR 10 is pulling out. And then that Dolby Vision takes that HDR color grading and just magnificently puts that splash of color on the screen i mean this film was gorgeous absolutely gorgeous looked amazing on my 120 inch screen that is a projector 4k laser projector that i have with a 3d centigrade screen again if you have an oled television and you're watching this with 4k dolby vision hdr 10 capability you are in for a treat whoever you are my friend out there watching this but i just think in general if you can view this in 4k even better with the hdr 10 and dolby vision you're in for a treat as well so what is the overall score the overall rating here i'm going to give this 4K transfer from Arrow, a 4 out of 5. It looks spectacular. There's no question about that. It is just a little dark. A lot of the film is meant to be dark and very grim and kind of mysterious feeling as I bump my microphone. So it's got this darker picture on purpose. But where those colors shine, the hues on the side of the faces, the greens, the reds, the blues, that 4K Dolby Vision with HDR10 just looks fantastic. So the only thing for me keeping it from being a 5 is that it's just purposefully shot in a darker overlay. And that's just how the film's mystique and mysterious component is meant to be portrayed. So what about the audio? Well... When I had this popped in, I thought I was listening to an Atmos track. I had to, again, turn around. I could have just hit the info button probably on my, my viewer, on my player. Damn, did it sound good. Holy crap. This DTSX master Dolby audio file. Man, was this thing amazing. I think DTSX might be on par, perhaps even better than Dolby Atmos. How many of you out there, put your thoughts in the comments section below, have compared Atmos to DTSX? I got to check out more DTSX mixes on films because this thing was rumbling. It was creaking. You heard stuff overhead. Again, my Atmos setup that I have, and this thing plays like Atmos. So if you have a full seven base layer or five base layer, two height channels or four height channels, I've got seven and four with two subs and bass shakers in my seats. This DTSX track, it's going to just fully immerse into your system. While Atmos, you know, uses specific channels, I think DTSX does as well. I don't know a whole lot about DTSX. If you do, put your thoughts in the comment section below because I have got to go check out more films that have those types of mixes because this thing hit. Bass was even better, I think, than what an Atmos track was. And again, the sound movement all around. This thing with that horror vibe and the jump scares and some of those ghosts and spirits that were coming out at you, the creaks, it really was immersive. And again, I love whenever films immerse you with audio. And this one, my friends, most certainly does. I am going to give this a 5 out of 5. Sounded amazing on par with Atmos, if not better. I think this is the same mix from the Blu-ray. I don't know if they just had a 5.1 and then use the DTSX as an enhancement. I will put that in the screen below so that I can make sure that you, the viewer checking this out, knows the Blu-ray versus what you are gonna get with this 4K. All right, so what about the ungraduated media perspective? Again, ungraduated media is all about taking a step back, removing yourself from programming, thinking for yourself, making your own decisions and assessments, and that's what we like to do with film. Films being put in front of you for all different types of interpretation. Is there anything to learn from this film? Here's a certain couple of thoughts for you. Well, 
How about trust your gut? How about go with your instinct? How about not be too naive? How young Edith was in this film. Starts off with her kind of being a writer and her husband-to-be takes an interest in her and kind of uses that little bit of puppeteering on her to kind of get her to fall into him. And eventually he does fall for her. But the father just trusted his gut, knew something was up, saw kind of through him. So you have this gut instinct when it comes to just intuitiveness and taking that first reaction for what it most normally always is. I think that in itself is one piece of perspective. Now, there's a whole different aspect of this film too. Ghosts and spirits, do you believe in them or not? What happens in the afterlife? What happens when we cross over? What happens after death? Does the soul, the energy continue along or does it just kind of get stuck in the in-between? Do we just go to sleep? Is there nothing after death? I myself believe that there is. I believe in different dimensions, up to 12 or more different dimensions, of which we see and interact in a three-dimensional space. There's a fourth and a fifth and a sixth dimension, and even beyond that, that energy continues onwards. So I know this borderlines on all different kinds of faith and religions, but I myself think that there is absolute truth in ghosts and spirits and energy that can sometimes overlay into our environments. You have the aspects of electronics and batteries, and sometimes those things help these spirits connect with us and sometimes be viewed or heard or seen within our three-dimensional space. So what are your thoughts on that? We'd love to hear them in the comments section below. Let's engage in some dialogue, not just about the film, but spirits and ghosts. There's all kinds of different horror films out there where we can talk about those perspectives. But I think the film in all has a very perspective building aspect for that gut intuition aspect as well as the spirit and energy soul aspects for what happens after death. Rolling right along, we do have tons of special features on this disc. I'm going to go ahead and throw them on the screen for you rather than trying to read them. I did not check out any of these, but you have a lot of good ones I think that sound very interesting. You've got Crimson Crimson Phantoms, a featurette on the film's amazing ghosts. I thought that they did a good job. Guillermo del Toro did a good job here of creating those types of spirits and ghosts. You got all different aspects of the elements of light and dark, a Crimson Peak, the cast and crew. You got hand tailored gothic, a featurette on the film, striking costumes. So, got a good variety of special features here that are all on this disc. Itself is a 100 gigabyte disk, so you don't have any compression or any kind of issues there. You're able to have great megabits per second here and not have any data loss or compression. Compression, And of course, you have all the room for the special features on this disk as well, too, with no Blu-ray included. Now, for the overall total package here, what I'm going to rate this, this is a solid four and a half out of five. I think that if it wasn't for some of the darker scenes in this, this would be another perfect five out of five. You got to ask yourself if this is worth the $45 to get the chunky box at 4k, or do you just want the 4k? The Blu-ray itself is going for about $28 on Amazon. I'm not sure what it is on Diabolic or Orbits or whatever other third party deep discount, but um, I think it's worth it for this beautiful box set. For about $45 here, currently at the time of this filming, you get this, you get all the special features, the book, the postcards, the lobby cards, that is, the poster, and uh, the 4K with all the special features that are included with it. And again, I think that the Blu-ray, I'm sure I've heard it looks pretty good. I couldn't compare it, but I think this 4K with Dolby Vision and HDR10, solid 4.5 out of 5 for me with a highly recommend. So there you have it, my friends. What's your overall takeaway on Crimson Peak from Guillermo del Toro? What's your favorite Guillermo del Toro film? I've watched a few of his now. I got to check out quite a bit more. What's your overall comments here on the video quality of this? Have you seen it? Are you getting it? Do you plan to get it? If you do, have you gotten it already? Tell me your thoughts on the audio. I want to hear about this DTS-X perception that you may have out there. Tell me your overall thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like and a share. Do make sure that you put your comments down below. It's always fun to engage and I want to have some dialogue with you all. So with that said, that about wraps me up here for this review of Crimson Peak 2015's Arrow Chunky Box Set Release. 
definitely one that is gorgeous. So until next time, my friends, deuces, peace to you out there. Take care for now. Talk to you all again soon.